Thank you very much for watching our video. Our research is about model selection for latent variable models. For instance, in latent directly allocation model, you may be interested in selecting how many topics are included in the document. In naive base models, you may be interested in how many hidden clusters exist behind the data. In stochastic block models, you may be interested in how many latent communities exist behind the relational data. We address all of these issues with a new technology. These latent variable models share a common hierarchical structure, where latent variables follow multinomial distribution. The number of latent components provides deep knowledge, which we wish to estimate from the data. The model selection is not easy for latent variable models because the parameters are not identifiable when latent variables are marginalized out. The technique called latent variable completion helps us resolve this problem. Conventionally, normalized maximum likelihood codling, or NML, with latent variable completion used to be the best approach on the basis of the minimum description length principle. However, it requires a simultaneous encoding of the data and latent variables. It is computationally expensive and must be approximated using an asymptotic theory. In this research, we propose a new criterion called decomposed normalized maximum likelihood, or DNML. The key idea is to calculate it as a sum of NML code length for data and that for latent variables separately rather than simultaneously using the two-stage encoding technique. Both of the code lengths are efficiently and exactly computed without any asymptotic theory. You can really enjoy a good model selection performance regardless of whether data is small or big. Given its flexibility, DNML can be applied to a large number of hierarchical latent variable models. If you have difficulty in model selection, DNML can be a good choice for you.